Hey guys, it's Tara here. Just wanted to hop on and give you guys a quick update. I missed a week again, so I'm coming at you with my week 31 and 32 updates. I will start off with my my backstory and my, my stats real quick, and then we'll get into some NSPs and some fun stuff. So my high weight, 252 pounds. That was January 2016. Surgery weight, March 22nd, 2016, 235 pounds. I came at you at week 30 and I was at 184 pounds. Week 31, I had dropped down to 182, so a two pound loss. This week I weighed in at 185 pounds. So I'm coming at you guys with a three pound gain this week. And I'm going to talk about some of that. Um, I may not talk too much about it in this video. I think I'm actually going to make a second video because there are some topics that I want to touch on. And I think it'd probably be easier on everyone to break it up into two videos. So um, despite the, the gain, I did have some fantastic NSVs. I had switched over to my fall wardrobe here in Ohio, um, we're going from the to the transition to to fall. It may not feel like it sometimes. It hit 82 degrees yesterday, highest since 1982. We hit a record high. So, um, in the transition to the fall clothes, I got out my calf high boots that everybody everybody just loves this time of year. I put them on, and I zipped them up, no problem, and had a huge gap, about an inch gap, all the way around on my boots. So. My boots are officially too big. I'm going to have to go shopping and buy some buy some new boots. That's NSV number one. NSV number two, I put on a pair of shoes that I really like that are like um, Converse style flat shoes. Um, just the slip-on kind. Not the high tops, um, but the slip-on kind. They're actually Ed Hardy design. It's not. They're not Converse brand, but put those on. Those are my favorite. Just kind of slip on with a pair of jeans and go shoes and those were super big on me. So I took the boots and I took the Ed Hardy's. I posted them on um, Facebook Marketplace and I sold them. So made some money off of my two big shoes. Um, I did not realize that feet sizes change as weight loss happens, which is awesome. Um, I guess it's the swelling in your feet. My feet aren't as chunky and swollen as they as they had been. I never really realized that they were, but I guess I guess obviously they were because now I'm down two pairs of shoes. And I've noticed that some of my other shoes are kind of floppy too. So there may be a shopping trip in order for me. Um, another NSV, I was invited to go play volleyball. We were at a church function with some church friends at somebody's house and then they said hey let's go play volleyball normally I would stay inside and hide under the premise that I was going to help watch the babies uh, but this time I went out and we played our hearts out I ran we we gave it our all we ran we laughed we rolled on the grass we fell down we acted like a bunch of fools but we had a great time so that's another huge NSV. Um, normally in a situation like that, definitely I would have turned inward. That is um, actually something that I want to talk about probably in another video is about isolation and what happens as you're gaining weight and you start to separate yourself from friends, you start to separate yourself from family, from activity. You really just want to hide in a closet and don't want anybody looking at you, don't want anybody judging you, don't want anybody calling you names or thinking anything negative about you. So you just make yourself scarce so none of those bad things can happen. And that is something that I really want to talk about because I think it's important that we address that um, as part of our weight loss journey. You know, looking at those skeletons in the closet and figuring out the whys of why we became the way we were in the first place. So I think I want to talk about that in another um, separate separate video. Um, so those are my NSVs, my two big shoes and um, playing volleyball. Something else I wanted to talk about, that two pound loss that I had between week 30 and week 31, 
I tried something a little different and I want to kind of get some opinions on it if, if anybody out there YouTube land has an opinion we hear everybody talking about all these different diets you hear talk about the paleo diet and the Atkins diet and the keto diet which the keto and the, the Atkins are very similar um, so I tried something along the lines of keto diet going very low carb high fat um, and then that's the week that I had the two pound loss now I am not a fan of doing anything that's called a diet because diets fail we all know that Every single one of us that is going on this journey, we've tried a diet or two or 10 or 20. We've been on diets, we've tried everything. So I don't like going on diets, but I do believe in lifestyle changes and that's what I'm really focusing on right now is trying to find a lifestyle change that works for me. Now cutting out carbs completely is not going to work for me. It's just not, not going to happen. But I do feel comfortable doing more of a meat, and plant healthy oil type lifestyle and not letting in the carbs the the crackers the bread pasta that type of stuff I am okay 100% okay with cutting out that kind of stuff I haven't really been letting it in too much anyway but when you focus on it and start looking at recipes sorry fly um, start looking at recipes for the keto type diet. There's a lot of good in it and I, I really do think there may be something to it. I just kind of want some opinions. What does everybody think about the, the keto lifestyle? Is it sustainable? Is it something maybe we I could do for a couple days and then take a couple days off and go back on? I'm not real interested in trying to get into ketosis um, and staying there. I don't know that doing that long term is really healthy, but I'm not 100% sure. I did buy, um, I was kind of curious, so I did buy the keto ketone strips where you can test your urine um, to see if you're in ketosis or not, but I'm a little leery of even trying to go there. I'm not sure how I feel about it. So if anybody has any input, please feel free to, to comment below and let me know. Um, let me know what you think about that. Something that I was considering doing. Because it did the couple days that I did, that's when I lost two pounds. And then I went off of it and now I'm back up three pounds. I really don't have an explanation for why I'm up three pounds. Um, my diet has been very much on point. Um, you know, I just can't figure out what the deal really is. I don't have an excuse. Usually people, we can pinpoint what we did wrong. I, I can't. My water's been on point. My protein's been on point. My carbs have been good. Not real sure what the issue is this time. Really not. Um, my exercise did slack this last week. So that could be. I don't know I don't know but I will say this week I am getting back on track with the exercise I'm getting ready to actually go to a fitness class here in just a few minutes and then I broke down on um, this today's Thursday I broke down on Tuesday and I went and I bought a treadmill um, not a great like pro super nice one or anything but like one you could get at Walmart I actually found a guy that had a brand new one that they sell at Walmart for like two hundred and eighty five dollars he had a brand new one for a hundred bucks so hundred bucks I got myself a treadmill and I did the first day of C to 5k yesterday I did everybody know, knows me knows I don't like jogging I don't like running I don't like it but I do think it is good cardio so I am going to try to I don't know that I'm going to try to complete the whole program but I am going to try to integrate integrate some walking jogging interval into my into my workouts with with the winter time coming i i don't want not exercising to be a reason for putting the weight back on or not losing anymore i still have goals this girl i still have goals and i am not happy at 185. i want to lose about another 40 pounds or so and i'm going to make it happen gonna make it happen you guys watch stick with me you'll see how good it's going to be 
Um, I think I'm going to stop here. We're about 10 minutes. Um, I'm going to go get my sweat on. And I will come back at you guys later and talk some more about, um, about isolation, about scales, about um, self-worth, self-value, um, where to find your value at, and it's not in the scale. So if you want to come back, check out my video talking about, um, talking about things like that. I think I'm going to make another one maybe tonight or possibly tomorrow, but I will come back and do that. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Thanks for sticking with me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that little button down there, right that, right there. You see it down there? Yeah. Hit that button and subscribe and follow along. I will talk to you guys soon. Love you. Bye.